Hello, I wanted to share some updates on the progress of my Mesoamerican calendar application. In the past few videos, I've been talking about the arrangement of the days according to the Aztec calendar with some images of the deities that I'm also going to be including in my uh, total application. Here, uh, we're looking at some of the glyphs that would have been used to represent the Maya count, starting with the units of the long count, which start from a date in August of the year 3114 BC. And I talk about the idea of the long count in a previous video. But for now, we wanted to look at some of the ways by which I am putting the graphics and arranging them for this display, which I wanted to emulate following these uh, patterns and the styles that we find on the classic period Maya texts, such as at the uh, monuments at ancient sites. So I was following that kind of order, beginning with the largest count of the Maya long count, the most common units where the the Baktun, which uh, counted 144,000 days per unit, and the 13 that have passed since, since the mythical date of creation in the year 3114 BC. The, here we have the zero glyph that counts the number of Katun, which are a count of 7,200 days or roughly 19.6 years. But then we have the 360 day Tun, which we, uh, here we have the two five bars that together counts the uh, 10. Here is the Winal, the six Winal that have passed, and the nine Keen, the individual days. So here in uh, the Arabic numerals are the 13, 0, 10, 6, and 9. We have four dots and a bar counting five, by which we reckon nine. Similarly with the two bars for 10 and the three dots, which give us our glyph for 13. These glyphs are actually coming from Google. I uh, downloaded a Google font and I'm using it to uh, represent these numbers. I had to use a, a language called CSS, which allowed me to change the style, kind of crank up the size of these glyphs and also rotate them so that they better look like the kind of representation that we would find in the ancient Maya texts because commonly in these long count representations the bars and dots were often running parallel they were running uh, ver vertically and they would accompany each of the individual units and here we have the Du Kum Hu, which represents the position of the day within the uh, month of Kum Hu, which was one of the 18 major months of the regular 365-day Hab year, according to the Maya. And then finally, we have the number two and the glyph of Muluk, which was one of the 20 days of the Maya Tzolkin, or the 260-day two, the sacred calendar, very similar to the 260-day Tonalpowali, known from the Aztecs, because both of these systems uh, counted from numerals from 1 to 13, and both systems had 20 day signs that ran in combination. The 13 times the 20 would yield the 260-day mythical round, so which the Aztecs called Tonalpowali, and the Maya called Tzolkin, which means the order of days. So here we have the March 8th, 2023, being uh, represented by the long count. Then it's the date in the 365-day uh, Hab year, and it also the corresponding 260-day Tzolkin calendar. So we have 13, 0, 10, 6, 9 for the long count, 2, Kum Hu, and 2, Muluk. So this is the progress and it's coming along. And the idea is that this is going to be a, a companion or an option in addition to the Aztec calendar. So you can uh, toggle between the Aztec, the Maya, or if you want, you can see both at the same time on a single page. So I'm looking forward to finishing up these um, last parts of the display. And then the next part will be to actually write up the descriptions for the glyphs, the numbers, the days, and so on. So I look forward to sharing more of those uh, details in upcoming videos. And uh, for those of you who uh, have been asking me about the uh, correspondences, I'll also say that this follows the Goodman Martinez Thompson uh, calendar uh, correspondence. And the reason that I chose this as my default is because of how well it matches with the Alfonso Caso correlation, which I use for the Aztec calendar. And so I like how these 
different systems match up very consistently. And I again, I will be providing alternative date calculators if you'd like to use another system. But this is the most straightforward, and I find that it agrees the most between the Aztec and the Maya calendars. So that is why I'm going to be using it as the default option. And further ahead, I'll also be talking about how you can enter your own date. So if you'd like to know your birthday, that will be a feature that I'm also going to be uh, putting into this calendar. So I look forward to sharing updates in the next steps of this calendar application's progress. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the Eye of the Serpent channel for updates. Your support goes toward travel, research, and production. Thank you for watching, and good roads.